Hello, my name is George Cunningham. I'm a professor of health and kinesiology and senior assistant provost for graduate professional studies. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the Texas A&M Distinguished Dissertation Award and the George W. Kunze Endowed Graduate Student Award Ceremony. To get us started, I'm pleased to introduce Dr. Karen butler Purry. She's a professor of electrical and computer engineering and since 2010 has served as the Associate Provost for Graduate and Professional Studies. Under Dr. butler Purry's leadership, the university has witnessed growth in the number, quality, and diversity of the graduate student body, the support students receive, and the opportunities for professional development, as well as many amazing student achievements. Welcome, Dr. butler Purry. Thank you, Dr. Cunningham and good morning to all of you. It is an honor to welcome our distinguished dissertation and Kunze Award winners. The dissertation chairs who directed these students through the arduous process of producing a dissertation and other faculty and staff who have supported these students in their graduate studies. I also want to welcome friends and family of today's honorees and acknowledge the support and encouragement you have provided them to help them accomplish their goal of completing an outstanding dissertation and earning a doctoral degree. This is the opening event of our Fall 2020 Salute to Graduate and Professional Education Week. Over the next four days, we will highlight the significant contributions graduate and professional students make to Texas A&M University and celebrate their remarkable achievements. Graduate and professional students support Texas A&M in numerous important ways, such as teaching and mentoring many of our outstanding 55,000 undergraduate students, contributing to research that generated nearly $1 billion in expenditures last year, participating in serving in leadership roles in campus and community organizations, and bringing diversity to and encouraging intercultural interaction on our campus. Over the last seven to eight months, graduate and professional students have demonstrated incredible resilience as they have adjusted to new modes of operation as a result of the pandemic. Thank you to all of our Texas A&M graduate and professional students. Today, we celebrate a distinguished few. Out of the nearly 1,600 doctoral degrees awarded over the last two years, four doctoral candidates were selected as our Distinguished Dissertation and Kunze Award winners. Today's award recipients have produced outstanding dissertations that represent the culmination of years of dedication and hard work. I wish we could meet in person to celebrate their achievements, but I'm happy that we are able to honor them with this virtual ceremony. I am incredibly proud of the work they have done and look forward to witnessing what they accomplish throughout what I have no doubt will be successful careers. Thank you, Dr. butler Purry. The Texas A&M Distinguished Dissertation Award recognizes dissertations that have made a significant, impactful contribution to their discipline. We provide awards in four broad areas, biological and life sciences, humanities and fine arts, mathematics, physical sciences and engineering, and social sciences. We consider nominations from graduate students and from those who've completed their degree within the past two years. The materials include an overview of the dissertation, as well as three letters of recommendation, all of which speak to the significance and quality of the work. A committee of faculty members and administrators from around campus evaluates the nominations to determine the award recipients. Among the four recipients, we also recognize the George W. Kunze Endowed Graduate Student Award. Named after the longtime dean of the Graduate College at Texas A&M, this distinction recognizes a graduating doctoral student who's made a significant contribution in her or his field. Upon Dr. Kunze's retirement, University faculty and friends generously contributed an endowment in honor of Dr. Kunze to provide an award for a doctoral student nearing completion of the degree program. Several years ago, this endowment matured sufficiently to begin providing an annual award. The George W. Kunze Endowed Graduate Student Award has been incorporated into the Texas A&M Distinguished Dissertation Award nomination process. As a result, Nominations for the George W. Kunze Endowed Graduate Student Award 
must adhere to the Texas A&M Distinguished Dissertation Award eligibility and submission requirements. The following award recipients, two of which will highlight their work, received $1,000 and a certificate of recognition. The 2020 Texas A&M Distinguished Dissertation Award in the competition field of biological sciences and life sciences is awarded to Dr. Kritika Kotrahi, a former doctoral student in the Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering at Texas A&M University. Dr. Kodrahi also holds a Bachelor of Science from G.B. Pont University of Agriculture and Technology and a Master of Science in Agricultural Engineering from the Indian Institute of Technology. Dr. Kodrahi's dissertation focused on assessing climate uncertainty effects on crop production for two agricultural regions in Texas, the Texas High Plains and the Edwards Aquifer regions. Her faculty advisor, Dr. Srini Vasula Ale, noted that he was very impressed with Dr. Kodrahi's work ethic and dedication toward her research. She strived for excellence in all her endeavors. Dr. Kodrahi is currently a postdoctoral scholar in the Department of Plant and Soil Sciences at the University of Kentucky. To summarize her research, here is Dr. Kotrahi. Hello everyone, I'm Kritika Kotari. My dissertation research focused on assessing climate change adaptation strategies for major crops in Texas. With uh, climate change with increasing incidences of heat stress, water stress, pest infestation, it has become a major challenge for agriculture worldwide. For example, in 2011, the infamous drought caused a loss of 7 billion in agriculture production. And with these climate extremes becoming more frequent, it becomes a pressing challenge to create cultivars and to create agricultural systems that would be more resilient to these changes. Another challenge to a sustainable agriculture in the Texas High Plains region is the irrigation water source. The irrigation water comes primarily from the Oglala Aquifer. In this aquifer, the water has been withdrawn at a much higher rate than its recharge, which has led to rapid depletion of groundwater and also pumping restrictions which pose challenges to the producers. In my dissertation, we combined field experimental data with crop models and future climate data to test various adaptation strategies. The experimental data were conducted at the Texas A&M AgriLife stations. And the data was from cotton sorghum rotation experiments at Hyoff Bay or wheat experiments at Bushland. And the crop model DSAT was used, which can simulate the interaction of weather, soil, cultivar and management and its effect on yield and crop water use. And we used future climate from nine models and two possible pathways of CO2, so total 18 future predictions. But that we changed model parameters related to the cultivar, related to root, leaf, or grain number to create stay green, heat tolerant, long maturity, drought tolerant, and high yield potential cultivar. We did this for three crops. In addition, for sorghum, which is a less tested crop, but has a potential for the future because of its low water use, we tested two types of irrigation scheduling. One was based on applying water during certain growth stages of sorghum. The second was applying water based on the soil water profile. Some of the results were that for, the, for almost all three crops and all, all three locations, the high yield cultivar tended to be optimal because it resulted in yield benefits without much change in the irrigation water use. This cultivar had more partitioning, more preference to reproductive growth, bigger leaf size, more number of potential grain, and better efficiency for utilizing radiation than the reference cultivar. The long maturity and stay green cultivar also had yield benefits, but at a cost of increased irrigation. 
and as for the irrigation irrigation scheduling approaches applying water during early reproductive stages turned out to be more efficient than any other stages we tested and irrigating to replenish water only till 80% field capacity was more efficient than full irrigation but it did cause a yield loss of 11% so these simulations could have implications for managing water and also creating adaptation cultivars in the Texas High Plains region. With that, I would like to thank you so much for your attention. The 2020 Texas A&M Distinguished Dissertation Award in the competition field of humanities and fine arts is awarded to Dr. Mary Reagan, a former doctoral student in the Department of English at Texas A&M University. Dr. Reagan also holds a Bachelor of Arts from California State University at Northridge, a Master of Arts in Literature from Texas State University, and a Doctor of Jurisprudence in Law from the University of Texas at Austin. Her dissertation, entitled Constructing Victorian Masculinity, the Academic Prize Book, and the Etonian Leaving Book, is the fruit of her research of 19th century British literature book history, and the Victorian boyhood and masculinity. In her dissertation, Dr. Reagan employed an innovative research method of using the book as a material object with which to investigate masculine subject formation by the so-called great public schools of the Victorian period, Winchester, Eton, St. Paul's, Shrewsbury, Westminster, Merchant Taylors, Rugby, Harrow, and Charterhouse. Her faculty advisor, Dr. Craig Kallendorf, noted that Dr. Reagan's dissertation is an extraordinary piece of work that will produce not one, but two books, which will make a significant impact on the field. The 2020 Texas A&M Dissertation Award in the competition field of social sciences is awarded to Dr. Catherine Ann Kale Williard a former doctoral student in the Department of Sociology at Texas A&M University. She also holds a Bachelor of Science and a Master of Science from Texas A&M University. Dr. Williard specializes in the study of political economy and organizations and applies her theoretical perspective to understand the influence of corporations on environmental pollution. Her dissertation project which received financial support from numerous sources, including the National Science Foundation, examined the impact of organizational and community characteristics and regulatory factors on Texas oil and gas venting and flaring. Results from her dissertation suggest how recent research on the structural determinants of global climate change might be advanced by focusing on methane producing activities by the oil and gas extraction industry using restricted census data. Her faculty advisor, Dr. Teresa Morris, noted that Dr. Williard stood out among graduate students in the department, having outstanding potential that was recognized through numerous awards. She noted that Dr. Williard's dissertation was impressive, with her committee stating it was one of the best they had seen. Dr. Williard is currently a survey statistician with the United States Census Bureau. The 2020 Texas A&M Distinguished Dissertation Award in the competition field of mathematics, physical sciences, and engineering, and the George W. Kunze Endowed Graduate Student Award are awarded to Dr. Akshi Singla, a former doctoral student in the Department of Chemical Engineering at Texas A&M University. Dr. Singla also holds a Bachelor of Technology from the Indian Institute of Technology in Delhi. Dr. Singla's dissertation focused on understanding how living organisms utilize cell membrane molecules to control biological processes, spending the last five years researching the vexing problem of antibiotic resistance. Her faculty advisor, Hong Jin Wu, noted that Dr. Singla embodies all the qualities we look for in an outstanding and independent scientist, excellent scholarship, enthusiasm for innovative research, 
and a humble attitude. Dr. Singla's dissertation has made an impactful contribution to engineering and biomedical fields. Dr. Singla is currently a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Gothenburg. To summarize her research, here is Dr. Singla. Hello everyone, my name is Akshi Singla and my PhD thesis was titled A Biomimetic Approach to Design a Targeted Drug Delivery System. One of the biggest health threats today is antibiotic resistance. It has been predicted that there could be 10 million deaths because of antibiotic resistant bacteria by the year 2050 and this could cost more than 100 trillion dollars. So the motivation behind my research was to fight antibiotic resistance. My PhD research can be divided into two broad categories. For the first half of my PhD, I focused on infectious disease diagnostics that is, understanding the process of pathogenesis. There are three stages of pathogenesis. When we get exposed to bacteria, some of the bacteria get attached to a cell membrane, after which they get ingested and cause infection. I worked on understanding this adhesion mechanism. Even though it has been well established that adhesion is the primary step before the onset of any infection, the mechanism is not well understood. During my research, I discovered a potential mechanism which can explain this process of adhesion. Taking lessons from this, I started working on designing a new drug delivery system which can target antibiotic resistant bacteria. When a drug is administered intravenously, it gets uniformly distributed throughout the body. However, when a drug is loaded on a delivery system, it helps transport the drug directly at the site of infection and thus reduce the amount of required dose as well as minimize the side effect. Now that we've understood how bacteria attacks us, I use the same technique to target the bacteria in designing a new drug delivery system. Using this new delivery system, we improved the my survival rate significantly. I really hope that my research can have a positive impact on society. Similar to my new drug delivery system, the understanding of bacterial adhesion mechanism can lead to development of new treatments against infectious diseases and ultimately fight threats like antibiotic resistance. Currently, I'm working as a postdoctoral researcher at University of Gothenburg in Sweden. Here I'm researching on cholera toxin to further the understanding on pathogenesis. Thank you. Congratulations to all of our awardees. Each year, the Council of Graduate Schools and ProQuest holds a National Distinguished Dissertation Award competition for the most outstanding dissertations in two of four categories. This year includes social sciences and mathematics, physical science, and engineering. CGS member universities can submit one dissertation in each category for consideration. Texas A&M submitted the nomination packets for Akshi Singla and Catherine Ann Kale Williard. The winners of the CGS ProQuest Distinguished Dissertation Awards to be announced in December receive $2,000 and a certificate of recognition. Congratulations to our outstanding Distinguished Dissertation and Kunze Award winners. On behalf of everyone here at Texas A&M, I wish you all the best in your careers ahead. And for Dr. Singla N. Wilgard, best of luck at the National CGS ProQuest Distinguished Dissertation Competition. Thank you to everyone for joining us to celebrate these outstanding award recipients. Stay safe and healthy and have a great afternoon.